Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. I've got a ton of news for you today from new NVIDIA GPUs coming, new info on Navi, third gen Ryzen APU benchmarks, and a stock 5 GHz Ryzen CPU. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, so what are you waiting for? Start saving now by visiting the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time, and for those who were excited at Computex about the teased NVIDIA Super event, only to be left wondering if Super meant Super rendering on a laptop with their new studio laptops, you're definitely not alone. At first, the event was interrupted by an air raid drill, but when NVIDIA did show, the mention of Super disappeared faster than Intel's integrity when they encounter a competitor. Well, don't worry, because if this report is right, the event was never to take place at Computex, and maybe they put the video out before to leave open a window in case AMD did release Navi, but of course, they didn't, and there's a couple sources who claim they know what it's about. But Tweaktown and Von Guru heard from the sources that NVIDIA will be launching new graphics cards at the event, which is likely to take place at E3. Now, Tweaktown is reporting on three cards while Von Guru reported two, but they specifically stated that they couldn't confirm if more than two were coming or not. Regardless, with two outlets hearing very similar things at the same time, I'd argue this is getting to leaked territory. As for the cards, Tweaktown Source said they're releasing a 2060, 2070, and 2080 with faster GDDR6, which goes with previous leaks. The other outlet reported that their cards would basically be super cards between the 2070 and 2080, and 2080 and 2080 Ti. Basically, this is likely just a quick way for Nvidia to offer something a little faster to compete with whatever Navi brings. Of course, we'll have to wait until E3 to know for sure, to which I'll go ahead and announce that I'm going to be doing a stream for AMD's event and Nvidia's if they stream it. And it sucks, because I would have actually gone to E3 if I knew these events would take place, but we can have a little live party anyway. Next up for today, we have some more information on AMD's Navi GPUs, specifically its new RDNA architecture. According to the Swedish site SWE Clockers, AMD's Navi architecture isn't 100% RDNA just yet. While they didn't go into much details, according to them, it still has some elements of GCN because many games are well optimized for it, but AMD will fully switch to RDNA architecture with Navi 20. Really, this could explain why earlier rumors suggested Navi engineers were having a hard time. Plus, if it's true, Navi 20 is definitely coming next year, and it should be far superior to, say, the Radeon 7. Still, the current 25% IPC increase over Vega is a huge feat, especially while still holding on to the aging architecture. Next up for today, Tom's Hardware got a chance to run a few benchmarks here in Computex on the upcoming Ryzen 5 3400G APU. It was done at Colorful's booth where they had the chip and one of the upcoming X570 motherboards. During their test, Tom's Hardware was able to confirm most of the leaks, like that the 3400G is built on AMD's 12 nanometers Zen Plus architecture and it's a 4-core, 8-thread CPU that runs at a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 4.2. When it comes to the results, in Cinebench it got a single core score of 162 and a multi core score of 712. And it saved Firestrike because they didn't have time to run their own, the GPU got a score of 2942. Basically, this is more of an incremental upgrade, but they should still be great for budget builds. Lastly for today, Bits and Chips, who's been right more than once in the past, recently tweeted something pretty incredible and lends credit to the recent leaks claiming 3rd Gen Ryzen can get to 5 GHz. In the tweet, they stated that next year, for the 20th anniversary of AMD's 1GHz Athlon CPU, the company plans to release Ryzen 3000 at 5GHz, meaning a special edition CPU or CPUs that come with a boost clock of 5GHz. And even if we're talking on a single core, that's a big deal with their stronger IPC. Also, according to Bits and Chips, they're waiting for 90% yields before they release it. But talk about an exciting time. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for new NVIDIA GPUs or are you ready to try your hand at overclocking 3rd Gen Ryzen? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.